Hey guys, I just wanted to bring you back um, for a quick updated video on how I prepare my senior dog with pancreatitis, um, how I prepare his uh, daily food. So um, I've added some new vitamins um, and changed it up just a little bit um, and I've had really good results. So I wanted to show you guys how I do that. Um, I'm also going to make a, a second video um, of how I prepare um, my daily meals for both of my girls, my two younger girls. Um, but I'm going to do that in a separate video so that way there's two fresh ones on how I've been making their food for you guys, okay? So let's get started. So in here, this is, um, in this bowl, this is what I feed him in as a bowl because he makes a mess on the plate. So it's best to do this. This is what I do. Um, I have his vitamins. I have his flaxseed. I have some coconut oil. All right. Um, I have his uh, digestive enzymes. I just started using these. So um, we're going to try these. He's been doing this for almost a week now. Um, and I've noticed um, some, some good results with that. This is the fish oil that I've been giving him. He gets one of these a day. Um, he gets one of his biotin keratin. I started giving him the vitamin E because I um, was reading about pancreatitis and um, they're deficient in these vitamins. Um, vitamin C. He gets his vitamin D3 and the selenium. And then here's the flax seed. And he gets a tablespoon of this every day in his food. Um, the scissors. So first, this is the pancreatitis meal that I showed you guys how to make um, in the other video. Um, so we're going to add this in here. Okay. This is just cooked sweet potato. You guys can alternate. I haven't been able to find pumpkin where I go to the grocery. Um, but the sweet potato is actually really good for dogs with pancreatitis. Um, it helps bulk up their, um, their stool. Um, it's really good for their skin and coat. Um, I was kind of concerned about um, the carbohydrates um, in the sweet potato, but uh, upon further reading, uh, the sweet potato is not really um, an issue with the carbs. Um, with them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I do this. So this is the mackerel that I feed my girls um, every day. All right. But I'm going to show you what I do. So we're going to open this. Get this open. They, my girls get a little bit of the brine every day that I mix their food up with. And I'll show you how I do that. Hope you guys can see. And then um, what I do is I store the rest in a container so then I can add it to their food every day because they only get, um, there's several fillets of, of fish in here um, that they get. So this goes, th you know, a couple days I have this. So I save the brine. And then what I've been doing is adding some of this as the liquid to heat his food up with because there is so much nutrients in the brine from the fish and um, I go through the fish quicker than I do the brine that I save with my girls. So he just gets um, the excess of what I have so it doesn't go bad and I just store it in the fridge and it'll keep in the fridge for several days um, before it turns bad. I always use it before it turns sour so I wanted to show you that part. So while this is warming up, I just get this all mixed in together. I was doing daily additions for him with broccoli and spinach. Um, but I just started adding that in when I make his bulk pancreatitis meal. So we'll get this going, and then if there's still not enough liquid, you can add just a little bit of water. Alright, and I added maybe like a couple tablespoons of this, this brine. 
I just do it by eye, you know, every day how I how I'm making it. So we're gonna let this heat up. Let me go ahead and add his turmeric. Add some turmeric, which is really good for dogs with pancreatitis, especially too. Add some pepper. The pepper helps. Um, them absorb the turmeric better in their stomach. So I've been giving him two hard-boiled eggs in his meal every day too. Um, and he's been doing good with that. I do feed him eggs as snacks, um, but he usually, some, some days he only wants to eat the yolk. Um, my girls don't have that problem. They'll eat the whole egg, and I need him to eat the whole, whole egg. And he seems to like it in here, too, because it just adds more to his food. And remember, if you guys... I have a larger dog. If you have a smaller dog, then you just need to adjust everything to how you do it. Or what you need to feed your smaller dog. This is the fish that I feed him. Um, the chunk light tuna. You can get four packs like this. It's for like $4.00. Three dollars um, at Walmart. Um, this is a uh, skipjack tuna, so it's considered safe to feed if anyone's concerned about the mercury. And we add the whole thing in, brine and all, everything. If there's still some left over, you can add a little bit of water to your can like this. And you can add it in here, you can add it in here to this one. Warmed up. I'm going to post some links um, to some pancreatitis um, information that um, is really uh, good for you guys to read. So I'll post those when I do this video, when I upload it. So I have this stuff in here. I'm just waiting for his food to finish heating up just a little bit more. This is the coconut oil that I feed them. I use the unrefined. Um, they seem to like that, you know, because you can smell the coconut, I guess, or maybe taste it more. Um, but you can use the um, the un the refined one as well. If you want. Okay, so this is just about ready. It's out of the way. Uh oh, almost, almost lost you guys there for a second. Okay, this is the sauerkraut that I feed him. I give him a couple tablespoons daily um, after his food cools down, so I'll show you. And the food will cool down once you add it to the liquid and the, what you have in here. So we'll get this out. And he does really well on this diet. Um, I wanted to give you guys a fresh video so I can show you how I'm doing it right now. Because it is a journey. Okay, so we're going to get this all mixed together. Just mix it up really good. You want to get the fish all broken up. You want to get all the vitamins and everything mixed in really good. He likes this. He always drools every day before I, um, when I'm making the food.
And I'll put the ingredients and everything in the description for you guys. Okay, that should be pretty good. It's already cooled off. So, it cools down pretty quick once you um, mix it in. There we go. So, I just usually just do like this. Like that, and then you can pour some of the liquid in if you want. It's really good um, probiotics. There's a few other vitamins I wanted to try, and I'll let you guys know once I do that. But for now, everything that I showed you guys is what he gets every day. And his poop is pretty good. You can tell um, everything's being absorbed. Um, he does have casual bouts every now and then. Um, and that's just, you know, what happens with the, with the disease. Um, but since I've introduced these new vitamins, I've noticed that there's... Um, a big difference. I can tell that there's a lot of improvement. So I wanted to make sure and get this out to you guys.